Singing there, you were jiving in your seat. Record breaker, that means only one football team, and that is East Kilbride Football Club. Martin Lachlan joins us again. Bob Perry, I feel as if we know you, Martin. It, it seems like that. You've gone and done it again. 28 wins on the trot. Oh, it was unbelievable, Jim. It was unbelievable, especially last Saturday uh, with uh, the Ajax thing and delivering 27 cases of beer for, uh, for us with uh, Messi, Seb and Van der Sar. So that was extremely special. And to be fair, I have been very good to us throughout the full run and very mm-hmm. respectful of it. So that was a touch of class. Martin, why don't you try and push it a bit and see if we can get a pre-season friendly against Ajax? Ah, no, how, you're How great would that be? Uh, I know, but that's what I'm saying. I said that last week, it needed to be the class of 72. They're all 70 years old. <laughs> um, so we, we don't want to play the, the, the first team no. But if it's been great to go over I think we actually need to do something To go over and find them Because they've been very good throughout uh, This run for East School Bride So if it'd be great to go over And even just meet the class of 72 I think that'd be quite special Martin, why would a bunch of successful footballers Want to go to Amsterdam? Uh, why, why would you want to go to a place like that? <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 I need to ask my wife first and foremost <laughs> Exactly go. Yeah. It's strictly football What That's... could possibly interest you in the Canal Strasser. <laughs> That's a no then, Martin. You won't be going. <laughs> Man, this is great and it keeps on going on. So you beat Sterling Uni, is that right? 2-1. That was, that was last night, Jim. So a hard fought victory and to be fair, every game's getting tougher. Uh, just with the coverage we've had, everybody's put in extra. So every game's tough and it's put up to the eight minute to get the winner. So just again, team spirit so, uh, shines through in the end. How many games you got left? Because you, you have a funny thing in that league, correct me if I'm wrong, you have all your matches, uh, you know, fixtures laid out, but then you have like a gap, don't you, in the, in the new year where you can fit in matches that have been lost to the weather. I'm, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about that. I think we're playing right over the, the Christmas period. Oh, OK. We've got a game in Hogmanay as well. On so Hogmanay? Yes, yeah, so I think we're actually straight through. We're straight through. There's not much break. Who are you playing in Hogmanay? We play Cumbernauld Colts uh, at home. Ooh, they'll be ready for that. Thing is, if it's going to go peak tongue, that's the day. That could be the day, exactly. Martin. Martin. Well, see, that will get Stranraam next week, uh, two weeks in the Scottish Cup, so that's going to be a tough game as well. So Stranraam. We'll going as long as we can. That, that will be tough. But the, there's no telling how long this can go on for. Do you begin to think, man, each game you go into now, do you begin to think, well, it could end today? No, no, I never think that, Jim. I'm always extremely positive because I've got a great group of players and, and they step up to the plate every time we ask them. Whenever they're asked a challenge, even when they go a goal down, that's not happened too many times. Last night, we were one each up to the eight, eight minute and they came through and scored again. So it's a special group of players and uh, you tend to find when things are going for you, uh, you get them if you're at the opposite end of the table it goes against you. So everything going with us at the minute and we're absolutely delighted. Right. Ryan, the most important thing is, uh, what were the lagers and where have those 27 cases of lager gone? Well, I don't actually know. Oh, <laughs> no! I left it in the dressing room, so I'm sure the boys had a, a good weekend with that. Um, but no, it, it, we delivered them, it was absolutely... Honestly, I still can't believe it to this day. I tell everybody, it was such a special thing and it will love me, mate. For the rest of my life. You deserve it, though. Martin, you deserve it. You deserve everything that's going for you at the moment. Martin, for a moment, pretend you're Gordon Strachan, because right now you have the Midas touch, my friend. No question about that. What would you say to Strachan to tell his players tonight to go out and win at Wembley? Well, first of all, I'm in Glasgow just now. There's an absolute buzz about the place just now. Uh, you're in the game tonight. So if I was Gordon Strachan, I think he's pulled off a master Stoughton Brian shot right Brown back into the fold. I think he's a massive player and you don't realise what he does until he's not playing. So I think yeah. that was, and if I was Gordon Stratton, I would throw Lee Griffiths in. I think you're going to be up against it tonight for long periods. I think England will probably dominate possession of the ball and uh, with Griffiths in goal scoring form, I would throw him in. I think he could light Wembley up tonight. A bit of pace, that, uh, you know, get, get Griffiths in about them and see if he can stretch them. What is the mood up there at the moment, Martin? Because down here, 
it's all about England being strong, strong favourites. Rooney starting, of course. Henderson's in there. And uh, Southgate quietly confident. But what's the mood there? Quiet confidence, I would say. A lot of people, they don't know. Now, England are a very, very good team. I think Rooney's going to be the main man for uh, for England tonight. He's been out. few questions asked of him, but I'm sure he'll step up to the plate. So I, I, I would make sure that we're tight on him tonight. What I would say is up here, uh, there's a quiet, quiet confidence. They, they don't believe that England play well together as a group. Uh, great players, individuals, very, very good. But I, I think up here we think that we can maybe get at them tonight. So well, I think it'll be a tight, a tight game. Maybe Scotland might just shade it with the odd goal. Oh, Martin. All right, Martin, calm down. Let's, let's, Martin, let's all yeah. calm down. I know no, you're I'm up eighteen and twenty-nine, but let's just like be a little bit realistic. Fantastic, you know Martin. But yeah. you're absolutely right. This is this is what a lot of us think down in England. If you get a neutral and you 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 say, look at that team, look at that team, they'll say, oh yeah, they'll win definitely. There's no question about it. That team's much better than that team. But what we know is that 11 players do not a team make. Mm. It's spirit that makes the team. And we just... If we worry about anything in England at the moment, it's that. It's the, it's the spirit there. And, and if, ever, if ever spirit made a team, it's his called Bright. I mean, tell me about that spirit you've got within that squad of players, Martin. Oh, they're all in it together. It's probably the best race room. I've had a football career myself, and it's probably the best race room I've ever been in in terms of boys getting on well together and, and drinking together and different things. And I, I would always say that team spirit gets you 10 points a season. So when things are up against you, you're not playing particularly well, and everybody pulls in the same direction, and it's worked so well for us so far. Hopefully Scotland can do the same tonight uh, at Wembley, because... Let's not uh, kid ourselves. The goalkeeper's going to need to play well. Defensively, they're going to need to be tight, solid in midfield, and they're going to need to take their chances when they get it. So, tight, I think maybe a set piece uh, in Scotland could just shade them. Matt, Matt as we, we obviously later in the, a few, few weeks from now will be a deadline day. Are you going to be able to hang on to Zhao? Is it the, your, your front man? Well, Zhao didn't eat last week. He's actually had the flu. So it just shows that we've got players that come in. I've actually signed a, a player known to Stenhouse Bure, a striker as well. So we're certainly adding as we go. Yeah. Who's he? Who's the fella from Stenhouse Muir? Uh, Jack Smith. Jack Smith, he actually left us to go to Stenhouse Muir and get an offer in the higher league. You've got him back from the Warriors? Yes, I've got him. He's come back from Arkill View? Yes, my former club. My former <laughs> club. So they've helped us out. So Jack's back for a couple of... A couple of months and let's see how he does. All right, man. Ne- never mind England, Scotland for a moment, man. Who's next for East Coast Pride then? Tomorrow we're playing the, the cup again. It, it, we're playing Edu Sport down at Alloa's ground. So, uh, eh, sorry, Annan's ground. Annan, so we're right. Playing them tomorrow and then we've got a, a league fixture mid- midweek. So, four games in ten days is tough for part-time players, but I'm sure we'll step up to the plate. Martin, players don't feel tired when they're winning. You've won your That's toilet. That. They do not feel tired. Uh, so we just need to keep it going. It's been it's been unbelievable, and thanks to yourselves, you've gave us tremendous coverage. It's been brilliant. Oh, you deserve uh, it, Mark. Appreciate it. Two more wins, and you're through the thirty barrier. Uh, let's see how long it goes on. Martin, we're with you all the way, my friend. Uh, I, I wish you were with me in this studio because I feel totally outnumbered down here, as I always do. And uh, on the day of England, Scotland, I could do with you here, my friend. But terrific, Martin. Well done. Cheers, Mark. Thanks, Keep man. it going. Lots of it, guys. Thanks so yeah, much. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Uh, yeah, what, uh, we've said it so often, but what? how could we not cover this story like we've covered it? What a wonderful story it is, Perry. You have to, and what Bob said, there's a bit of snobbery about, oh, it's not, you know... Um, league football and you know it's not like that they're called senior football but it's not how you've beaten the university and you've beaten the strollers civil society and wire welfare but these are good you know these are good solid little teams yeah. they're not they're not it's not Sunday it's not Sunday morning yeah, but when they're, they're not down on the marshes or if you've got a card you're in the team yeah these are you know they're proper teams but when they say history. they beat the university those university lads will be training probably three or four times a week do you know what I mean? So they'll Absolutely. be as fit as any... Like, so another question line. is, yeah. can Scotland take that East Coast Bright spirit into Wembley tonight? You bet they can. Jim White on TalkSport.